I'm Educated Idiot, and this is... Carson Smash! That's a traffic light. This is a traffic light controller, and we're going to put the two together. And this is where the idiot part of me kicks in. You see, we've got two cameras, only one working, but we're going to make things work. Uh, we're starting to identify the positives and the neutrals to the electrical system. We're going to unplug everything. Luckily, they are previously marked. Therefore, we don't have to worry about really managing the wires too much. We're going to take out the old power block. And we're going to identify the positive to the system by putting a black mark on it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come back through and identify the yellow wires and separate them out, both the yellow positive and the yellow neutral, and the red wire and the red neutral as well. Then we're going to come back and clip off all the old spade terminals. Uh, they will not be used in this application, as you can see from the board there on the screen. It is simply just a push wire in, screw, bolt down, you're ready to rock and roll. We're going to clip those wires back about an eighth of an inch. And then we're going to see here that I'm going to show it to the camera that wasn't completely functioning, both the board and the instructions. Uh, the instructions come complete, and it actually gives you two options for a common neutral and for independent neutrals, I chose to go with the independent neutrals because they were easily identified. Uh, we plug the board into power, and you're going to see that we're going to screw both of those down, tighten it down, and give it a test run. Uh, we'll see all the lights on the board light up. Everything's rocking and rolling, so we're going to proceed. Uh, we see that I point out here that we have solid state resist or solid state relays, so everything's going to function really quietly and last a long, long time. So no parts to wear out. We go through the process here, and we plug in and screw down for all the terminals, starting with the green, moving to the yellow, and then now we're plugging in the red wires as well. We're going to give it another test run to make sure everything functions. Looks like the lights light up well. Everything's good to go. So we're going to take the white standoffs that come with the kit. Uh, we're going to plug those into the bottom of the board. And then as we get those things plugged in, we're going to pull off the white strips, we're going to loosen up the power cable just a little bit to get that secured firmly and evenly down. Tighten that back up. We're going to close the terminal and everything's going to screw back together. And then finally we're going to give it one last test run and it is good to go. I'm the educated idiot. This is Harley. She helped us today. And this is... Carson Smash. You see that light changing? We got red back to green, and then to yellow. That controller's got 31 settings on it. You can change it to do a number of different things that you wanted it to do. But, again, thank you for watching. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button. If you didn't like it, you know where that button is too. Again, this is... Carson Smash. Enjoy, everybody.